You're welcome to this physics particle analysis on electricity. Now, in 2025, I decided to, not even 2025, generally speaking, I decided to fix a real start, a potentiometer, a given resistor, a voltmeter, ammeter, a battery, a key, and a jockey. All of them assembled in one. If this is a real start, I connect it to this. Now, let me show you what I mean. This is a real start. Now, real start has three terminals. Three terminals. There is a terminal here. There is a terminal here. And there is another terminal here. So, you can still connect it here. Right? When you connect it that way, you can move this and move this to increase or decrease. But if you follow the, the connection very well, you will see that the battery, the positive side of the battery, this is the positive side of the battery, okay? And this positive side of the battery is going to this place. It's, you are connecting it exactly into this real start like this, okay? Then from the real start, you go to a resistor. So when you get to the resistor, you just connect all of them, real, um, battery, real start, resistor, key, ammeter first. Then after that, connect um, a voltmeter, one side of the, of the resistor, and the other side or terminal of the resistor, connect a voltmeter. Also connect a potentiometer the same way across the other end. So if this is done, what we are going to have is this. Remember that we agree that, uh, that um, V increases with resistor because of the length. We also know that V is highly proportional to length, and length is highly proportional to resistor. So as the no of the as the jockey is increasing, maybe from here to here is increasing in value, the voltage is highly is likely to increase. Now I would like you to set this up the way it is in your own and please comment what you have seen. For those of you who are asking me to do those experiments, if you're on TikTok. Go to my bio, click on my YouTube icon. It will carry you to my YouTube. You are going to see a lot of experiments or practicals I have done to guide you to prepare with your students. So after that, I'm going to plot a graph of I against 1 over L. Do it. Do it and tell me your experience, okay? I want to know your experience because I have a different experiment, experience and I want to hear from you. Let's work together, okay? And learn with each other and learn from each other, okay? All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I have 1 all over R, ROT. What is 1 over ROT? This is the total resistance of the circuit. Because I have resistance from the standard resistor and resistance offered by the potentiometer. Because potentiometer does is to vary resistance. It can also be used to vary voltage or we call it voltage divider. At the same time, it can also control current. So, there are doing so many things. But because it is connected in parallel, I'm going to find the resistance here and resistance of the potentiometer, which is going to be equal to 1 over resistance of the standard resistor plus 1 all over LK. What I mean by LK is that, remember, if I say that this is true, I'll have that the, this is the resistance, 1 all over the resistance, because see, look at what I mean. If I say that V is equal to, is equal to KL, so we are looking at this because we said that voltage is directly proportional to resistance, resistance of the potentiometer. So that is why I have this. So in this case, I'm going to say that current is equal to V all over RT. That is total resistance. V is the voltage of the, I can also call it E. Let me use E because I already have V there. So this is the battery, the voltage of the battery or the EMF. So I will have that I is equal to E bracket 1 over R sub T. I hope this is correct. So therefore, current is equal to E bracket. Instead of 1 over R, 1 over R is everything here, which is 1 over R sub L plus 1 all over L K. So current is going to be equal to E all over R sub X plus 
E all over L K. Now, this is what we are asked to do. If you check this very well, you see that this is 1 over L. So I'm plotting a graph of, I'm going to rearrange this to a general equation. Therefore, general equation is given as this, plus Z. I'm comparing this, so I'm going to have I is equal to E all over LK plus E over R sub X. So this is the intersect. On the, this is the intersect, okay? Why this on the vertical axis? Why this? is the slope. Slope is going to be, uh, because this is slope, and the slope here is going to be E over K is going to be the slope. Because I'm plotting 1, see what I'm plotting, I'll say I is equal to IL bracket E over K, then plus E all over R sub X. So E over K is equal to the slope. Do you understand? Because it is the coefficient of 1 over L. And 1 over L is the horizontal axis. So this is the way the graph is going to look like. Current and 1 over L. Okay? So when you plot your graph, you will find out if your graph is going to cut on this one or is cutting this way. And I also want to know what you are saying. And when you get this as your slope, and you know the value of E because you are going to measure the value of your battery you are giving. Then you can find what is this K, right? Which is a constant of the wire of the potentiometer. At the same time, if you are asked to find the intersect, the intersect is going to be this. So we have that intersect I, I for intersect. Let me say I for intersect is equal to E all over R sub X. So with this, you can be able to find the value of the, this is the value of the, resistor you use in your experiment. So physics teachers and other students who are interested in learning, tell me what you have on the comment section. Let's see how you go.